User Guide for Zorce Condor XC002 Pro Key Cutting Machine. Welcome back, fellow car enthusiasts, to another exciting episode on our channel dedicated to all things automotive diagnostics and programmers. Before we dive into today's content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest updates. And hey, if you find value in what we're sharing, don't hesitate to give that like button a gentle tap. Your support means the world to us. Zorce Condor XC002 Pro Key Cutting Machine User Guide 1. Connecting Power Supply Connect the power cord from the device package to the Condor XC002 Pro. Turn on the power switch. The LED light on the front panel will illuminate, indicating power, and the speed display will also activate. 2. Installing Probe and Cutter Ensure the lock switch is in the unlocked position. Insert the probe fully and then lock the switch. Follow the same procedure for installing the cutter. The new method simplifies installation, ensures automatic centering and clamping, enhancing cutting accuracy and reliability. 3. Cutter power switch and speed control knob. Pressing the main hand down initially won't activate the cutter. Turn on the cutter power switch located on the right side. Afterward, pressing the hand will activate the cutter. Clockwise rotation of the handle locks it, while the speed can be adjusted using the knob. The machine offers seven speeds for versatility. 4. Mode Switch Knob The red knob on top switches between dimple mode and standard mode. Dimple mode allows for detecting hole depths for dimple key duplication. Standard mode enables cutting various key types. Double-sided, single-sided, for track external, two-track external, for track internal, and channel track. 5. New Clamp Slide in the clamp. Aligning the mark on the machine with the corresponding mark on the clamp, C, B, or A. Adjust the position as needed and tighten the knob. The machine features three grooves for key clamping, each serving different key types. 6. Cutting platform movement. Fully release both limitation knobs to allow free movement of the cutting platform. Tighten only the right knob to restrict movement to the Y-axis. For X-axis movement, the platform returns to its original position upon release. Tightening both knobs locks the platform for Y-axis movement exclusively, useful for linear cutting requirements. Additional tips. The left groove corresponds to point C, the middle to point B, and the right to point A for clamp mounting. The silver handle beside the subhandle assists in key cutting. Utilize the guiding block and shims for alignment when clamping edge cut keys. Adjust the clamp for thin house keys accordingly. This comprehensive guide ensures smooth operation and maximizes the capabilities of the Zorce Condor XC002 Pro Key Cutting Machine. As we wrap up another insightful session exploring the realm of automobile diagnostic tools and programmers, I want to extend a heartfelt thank you to each and every one of you for tuning in. Remember, your feedback fuels our passion. So drop us a comment below with your thoughts, suggestions, or even just to say hi. Until next time, stay curious, stay passionate, and keep those engines running smoothly. See you in the next video.